joined now by Indiana University Athletic Director Fred Glass. Fred, what can you tell us is the latest that you're hearing from university engineers as they continue to assess the situation here? Well, we've had our university engineer come. We've actually had an outside consulting engineer review, too. They, they, uh, it's pretty speculative at this point, Allison, but I think it's probably a weather-related um, issue that forced that plate uh, out. Um, they advised us not to hold the event tonight. And of course, safety is our number one priority, so um, we won't have the game tonight, and we'll see about the women's game scheduled for tomorrow night and so forth. But we're going to work around the clock to evaluate uh, the problem, fix uh, the problem. We think that we'll have um, a good evaluation by the engineer um, as early as uh, you know, midday tomorrow. What is the, the process that will take place as they determine the safety of the building? Um, we'll, we'll have an outside consulting engineer here. They will make visual inspections from the floor. We'll bring in special equipment so that they can get up right next to the, uh, the facing that uh, appears to be the issue, um, do, a, do a physical and visual inspection um, there, make a determination about what they think the causes are and what the fixes are, and then, and then uh, we'll, we'll fix it. What will determine when this game is rescheduled between Iowa and Indiana? Yeah, the information from the engineers um, the, the, will get out of their way and, and make the resources available for all the right people to get in as quickly as they can. And then uh, as soon as we get the information back from them and get it fixed and get it all clear, um, we'll, we'll look to work with Iowa and the Big Ten to schedule, reschedule the game. And, and then, of course, we have our women's game tomorrow night, too, and we'll uh, make determination about that as quickly as we can.